Hey guys, so we finally got the uh, date for our delayed Nintendo Direct. It's tomorrow, uh, Thursday, September 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That's my time zone, so do the math for whatever your time zone is. I'm going to be live streaming that event here on my YouTube channel. This is the first time I've ever live streamed something, so hopefully it goes well, but you know, that's the plan, so I hope you can join me. Um, and then today I just want to talk about uh, something that some other channels have talked about. It's just this little Smash theory that's going around right now. Um, if you're not interested in doing anything like that and you just wanted to know the date of the Direct, know when I'm going to live stream it, then you know you don't have to stick around for that, but that's what I'm going to be talking about the rest of this video. Um, so this theory was talked about by uh, BillyBo10K. Uh, it's been talked about by Source Gaming and um, someone called at cool0210 over at Twitter, and cool is spelled K-E-W-L. He went into great detail about this one. Um, so I just want to talk about this uh, little theory and uh, just how it could potentially tell us uh, at least how much stuff we might be getting in the Direct. It pretty much, uh, you know, uh, confirms that we're going to get something Smash-related in the Direct, uh, but it might also give us a hint at how much stuff we're going to get. So I'm going to go over that today. So basically this theory, actually I don't even know if I can call it a theory, it's actually just pretty much factual Nintendo, uh, you know, information that's just been ascertained. Uh, but basically it has to do with the Japanese Smash Brothers official website and how if you look at the code for that website, the um, blog entries have a number associated with them and certain numbers are missing. So this could potentially tell us uh, things that were supposed to be updated onto that website before the Direct got delayed. Now, I say the Japanese website because the Japanese blog on the Smash website uh, does these things called memories, and those memories get numbers. So in the same way that character videos, uh, images, music tracks get numbers for blog posts, these memories do too, but they're not on the website for the um, other uh, countries. So it's important to just look at the Japanese website and see what's missing there. Otherwise, you're just going to have a whole bunch of missing numbers, and it's not really going to tell us anything. The easiest way to see these numbers is to just click on an image from one of the blog posts and save it and that number will come up. Now if uh, a blog post has multiple images in it, it'll usually say the number, then a dash, and another number. So uh, a single blog post might have multiple images, but it'll still be all saved as one blog post entry. And that's what we're really going to be looking at. So things like the music tracks and the videos for characters also get these blog post numbers. They're just a little harder to find. You have to look at like the coding for the website, but you can figure them out and people have. So really what's happening is ever since the direct got delayed, we actually ended up missing some numbers in blog post entries. So, you know, we have all these missing numbers. That's what we're going to be looking at. Kind of reminds me of the Pokemon, like missing now, but whatever, we're hunting for missing those here. So we have had missing numbers for these blog posts in the past, but very rarely, it's a very sporadic thing when that happens. Um, and this was more like a bunch of numbers missing in a row. And honestly, this whole week, ever since the Direct's been delayed, has had a bunch of these missing entries and things seem to be uh, have been moved around a bit. So we're going to look at that specifically. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, cover the video with this one image because things are gonna get a little confusing and it's just easier if you have a visual to follow along with. So here we go. So yeah, right away, this is a little confusing. Um, so first off, I just wanna focus our attention over on the left side. We'll save the right side for a little bit later. So the left side are the latest blog post entries. And we're gonna go down to 133, that is the Alolan Exeggutor. Um, that one was right around the Direct's original date last week. So that's what popped up was Alolan Exeggutor as 133, right after Final Destination and uh, the Fortress music from Mario. The Alolan Exeggutor images uh, appeared to be the correct images for that date. Uh, we can look at the two images that are on there and basically both of them have uh, 133 associated with them, so they were supposed to be that blog post at that time. However, right after them, um, we're missing 134, 135, 136, and 137. So when the next uh, blog Blog post came out, it was just the Toon Link video with the Toon Link memories. So a lot of times when a character's uh, video is highlighted on the blog, they highlight a memory on the Japanese website as well. So those dropped at the same time. After the Toon Link blog post, we were actually missing 140 and 141. I'll explain in a second why it says Summit Stage. So after the Toon Link uh, blog post, we immediately got the Bowser character video. After Bowser, we're missing 143, 144, and 145, and we immediately got the Pikmin song blog post. 
after the Pikmin song blog post, uh, something interesting happened. We got the summit stage from Ice Climbers, except its blog post was 141, actually filling in an earlier missing blog post. Now, I don't think the Ice Climbers stage has anything to do with our new Direct, so that one was probably originally scheduled to be 141, so I'm unsure why they decided to hold it off until after the Pikmin song blog post, but yeah, it was just kind of interesting that that happened, and we're still missing 140, which you would maybe assume was supposed to somehow be involved with Summit or something. I don't know, but we're missing one there and one of our old ones got filled in. So our most recent blog posts are the Ryu video and the Ryu memory blog post as 148 and 149, skipping over 147. So as of right now, we have missing 134, 135, 136, 137, 140, 143, 144, 145, and 147. So that's a lot of missing stuff. So clearly they moved this week around and potentially these are, you know, things that were supposed to be in the direct, but they don't want to announce them yet. So now to speculate what those could potentially be. 134, 135, 136, and 137 uh, could potentially be a trailer video for a character, a character video like the fighter video showing off the fighter's moves that gets posted with the fighter's um, page on the website, and then a memory of whatever game that's fighter's from, and then potentially 137 was either a song from that series, maybe a new stage if we are getting more than 103 stages, or even an Echo Fighter. We have gotten Echo Fighters, and not gotten uh, memories associated with them. So sometimes we do get fighter videos without a memory. It doesn't always have to line up like that. So seeing as we're only missing four posts directly after the direct was supposed to happen, um, it sort of points to only being maybe like one fighter, possibly a fighter in an Echo, but more likely one fighter, uh, two videos for that, a trailer reveal video, a fighter video, um, and then the memory associated with them and potentially something else to do with their game, a song, a stage, etc. cetera. Um, but it could also leave room for like one Echo. So most people were at first thinking we weren't gonna get too many uh, characters in this direct, maybe be like one newcomer reveal, which, you know, seems likely to me, I guess. But now that we've seen the rest of the week play out, we're also missing 140, 143, 144, 145, and 147. So these could possibly be stages, if there, we are getting more than 103 stages, um, you know, items, assist trophy characters, things that maybe were in the direct that they don't want to reveal yet. Um, that's possible for these. They could also potentially be for Echo Fighters, so we could be getting more than just one character in this direct. Um, we did get with Dark Samus and Krom, uh, they were revealed actually a little while after the August direct. They weren't revealed right away. Actually, Abra got a blog spot before they did, for instance. And uh, Krom didn't even get a memory associated with them. So again, not all characters need to have a memory. So not all the Echo Fighters are going to have to have um, that memory spot as one of the blog posts. It would be a little strange to add Toon Link and a Toon Link Memories video and a Bowser Memories video uh, in between, you know, getting characters, though, from a Direct. It just seems weird to drop them, you know, as they were planned as 138, 139, and 142 um, in between what would also potentially be characters. So I don't know. I feel like only 134 through 137 is where new characters from the Direct would be. But, hey, you never know. I mean, things aren't written in stone. You know, that sort of pattern can change up here. So essentially at the end of all this, we really still don't know, you know, who we're going to get or even how many. We just have an idea that, yes, we are going to definitely be getting Smash information in this Direct. So now real quick, just because it's interesting, we're going to move over to the right side of this image. Um, and this is the rest of the blog posts. So they were pretty much all in order. We'll go down to the bottom of the right side. They're pretty much all in order until right after the Ice Climbers memory, when uh, blog post 36 and 37 were mysteriously missing. And then the Corrin video came out. And, you know, nobody really knows why those ones were missing, but they're not there. They're still not there. We still haven't seen them. So in the way that the summit stage has since filled in 141, uh, nothing yet has filled in 36 and 37. So after the corn video, all the blog posts went in order up until Alucard's assist trophy came out. And right after him, uh, blog post 119 was missing. Uh, the Ness video came out and it was actually blog post number 200. So I'm thinking perhaps it was just a typo as 119 is missing. And after the Ness video, um, the Ness memory is 120. So I don't know why 119 didn't get up there. I don't know why the Ness video was called 200, but yeah, uh, that one's missing for some reason. 
Right after the Ness memory, we have one more missing blog post, and then Rathalos. And then from Rathalos all the way up until the Direct got delayed, uh, everything was moving smoothly. So I don't know why 121 is missing. Um, I've heard some other people report that 120 is missing, but uh, I can check the Ness's memories, and it, it is blog post 120. So I don't know why people were saying that. I think maybe they meant 119 was missing, but Ness's video has 200 as its name. So I don't know, something weird happened there. I mean, they've had, you know, uh, misspellings and stuff on the official website, so this might honestly just be some weird typo situation. So yeah, I just thought that stuff was pretty interesting. Pretty much means we're definitely going to get something Smash related in this Direct. Not that I doubted we would, but yeah, it's, it points to it. You know, the Smash uh, website wouldn't be that out of whack over missing the Direct unless there was something on there. So now I want to talk about uh, a leak I talked about, one leak a while back. Um, I talked about it in the waiting for the Nintendo Direct date video. It was the Karate Joe leak. I just want to bring that one up because it sort of relates to this missing blog post theory. So if we look at the Karate Joe leak, we can see that all the files are 134 dash some number. So that does fill in the next um, you know blog entry that is missing. However, usually when this sort of thing happens, uh, you know we get a fighter video numbered as a blog, we get a reveal trailer numbered as a blog, we get the memory numbered as a blog. All these things are separate numbered blog posts, and all the files that we have appear to say 134. So I don't know if that debunks this leak, but it's something interesting. It's interesting that it lines up with the blog post numbers at the same time. Uh, it appears to have a memory and a character and a few other things in here, uh, and that would have to have different blog posts numbers. So another interesting thing about this Karate Joe leak someone pointed out to me is that the uh, the images down in the bottom, one of them looks like Suzaku Castle, the uh, Street Fighter stage, Ryu stage. Uh, so it's possible, you know, we would get Karate Joe as a newcomer and maybe, you know, Vergeman leaked pretty much that Ken was going to be an Echo Fighter. I mean, he's one of the most likely Echo Fighters anyway. Um, and a Karate character like Karate Joe fighting Ken, it would make sense for a reveal trailer. It would kind of fit the assumed amount of blog posts we're missing right after the direct to get a newcomer plus one echo so potentially we're getting karate joe and ken revealed in one trailer if this is to be believed so yeah i really don't know how i feel about this karate joe leak uh it has some pretty interesting things going for it if you watch that waiting for the nintendo direct date video uh, you can find out more about that leak if you're interested uh but it does have some things going for it at the same time uh, it has some stuff going against it like having those blog post entries all being one number, which they shouldn't be. Uh, so I don't know if it's true or not, but we're gonna find out tomorrow anyway, so I'm not gonna sweat over it too much. Uh, yeah, so I hope you can join me tomorrow. I'm gonna live stream the Direct once again, and you know, I'd love to have people uh, watch with me, and I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. I hope we, you know, get some cool character reveals. If I had to guess, um, because I know people are gonna ask me this in the comments, uh, probably thinking either Skull Kid or Isaac, and then for an Echo Fighter, I'm thinking uh, Isabelle or Ken. So that's that's my prediction, I guess, for tomorrow. Uh, unless the Karate Joe leaks right, then I'm guessing Karate Joe and Ken. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.